The primary focus of the SEZ Act 2005 is promotion of exports. The units in uh, the special economic zones were evaluated based on net foreign exchange criteria. This is set to be replaced by development of enterprises and services hubs bill. So what's different now? The new law will allow units to produce both for domestic and international markets. Evaluation based on net foreign exchange and direct tax incentives have been done away with in order to comply with WTO rules. According to the new bill, net positive growth criteria will be used to judge performance. The current Special Economic Zone Act 2005 did not classify different types of special economic zones. The new bill will classify development hubs into enterprise and service hubs. When it comes to single window clearance, the SEZ Act did provide a single application form, but there was a requirement of obtaining approvals from state governments and multiple government agencies, which created complications. The new bill aims to integrate an online portal with state governments, uh, will also allow formulation of model guidelines that may be adopted by state governments, and there may be certain pre-cleared zones, with certain government approvals being deemed to have been provided to every unit in the zone. While the SEZ Act 2005 has initial tax holidays and exemptions, but the exemptions applied only to goods exported and not those sold in domestic market. There is a zero-rated framework under IGST 2017 under the SEZ Act. Under the new proposed legislation, enterprises and services hubs will be customs bonded zones, will be treated as territory for the purpose of indirect taxation. For selling in the domestic market, duties will have to be paid only on imported inputs and raw materials rather than the final product. Zero rating under IGST will continue and be retained. There was no specific dispute resolution framework under the SEZ Act 2005. The development of Enterprises and Services Hubs Bill will provide a mediation framework for commercial disputes and there will also be an enabling mechanism to make a reference to arbitration.